Yo, like this video for. Bruh. Not even joking. Right when you like this video, uh, Bruh. is gonna be right at your door. What are you waiting for? Like the video. Alrighty, fellas. How's it going? It's your favorite Mexican raincoat here. I hope you are all doing well today. Uh, on this Monday we're having. It's currently 2.14 p.m. recording this, so I'm kind of getting this out last minute. I usually record these in the morning, so, uh, if I make any stupid jokes on this, it's because I rushed it. Just gonna be honest with you guys. Anyways, boys, today we are going to be taking a look at the D'Amelio family. Now, this is Charlie D'Amelio's family. Family, and somehow I guess the fame on TikTok just kind of snowballed onto her family as well. So uh, now they run a YouTube channel. The D'Amelio family sitting at 1.61 million subscribers with nine videos, dude. They are playing YouTube on recruit mode. I swear to God. First, it was Charlie D'Amelio doing the renegade and now it's the entire family. Now the D'Amelio family recently uploaded a video of them eating dinner and I guess a lot of people are talking about it. Well, like a month ago. Yeah, make fun of me all you want. I know this topic is like a month old. I don't care. As a daily uploader, I'll talk about whatever, man. I don't care if it happened 20 years ago. I don't care if it happened yesterday. I'll still talk about it as long as I find it interesting. Well, I don't really find this interesting. I want views, all right? But yeah, fellas, this video is called Our First Mystery Guest, Dinner with the D'Amelios. You know, I'm just gonna say right now, I'm super interested in watching this rich-ass family eat their five-star meals in front of my screen. It just makes me feel insanely poor, and I just love feeling poor. Don't we all just love feeling poor when watching these LA influencers do their thing, boys. Anyways, whatever. Before this video starts, I just want to say go follow my Instagram at Poncho's Death. If you don't follow it, I'll track you down and force you to follow it once I'm at your house. Anyways, fellas, with that all out of the way, let's take a look at this uh, masterpiece. <laughs> All right, we're already two seconds in, and I think that intro was enough to get me to start seizing on the fucking floor. Why is there so many glitch effects? <laughs> Why is there so many, dude? My eyes, my eyes. Are you trying to have everybody in your child audience having a seizure on the floor, D'Amelio family? What are you thinking? Honestly, I would say, you know, D'Amelio family, hire me as your editor. I won't let that happen. I won't let that mistake happen. But I mean, at the same time, three weeks ago when I collabed with Dumpy, uh, I accidentally put my voice over his because I'm an idiot. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the D'Amelio family. You okay, pause. Why does Charlie D'Amelio's dad look like he's the leader of a damn cartel or something? I feel like this guy is dealing pounds of crack on an hourly basis. Man, he looks intimidating. Charlie D'Amelio's dad is not the person to be messing around with, all right, ladies and gentlemen? If you ever make a hate comment on any of Charlie D'Amelio's TikToks, he's gonna be right around the corner pulling up to your crib with the mafia. So if I were you, I'd look out. Don't be hating on his daughter. YouTube channel, and tonight we are starting our brand new new episode of Dinner with the D'Amelios where we invite a person, actually we didn't invite anyone because we have no idea who's coming, but we're going to have a special guest tonight. They're going to- Um, are you okay? Like, what What was that? I swear to God, I was actually somewhat interested in what Mr. Mark D'Amelio had to say about introducing the special guest, but then his daughter just decided to be a giraffe or something. I don't know. Dude, that was honestly one of the strangest reactions I think I've ever seen. What? Why are you doing that? Stop it. She opened her mouth all the way and didn't even make any noise. What? What? Sit right there and we're going. Yeah, I would be lying if I said that didn't look good because, oh my god, mmm! Could you imagine how hard those five-star chef TikTok millionaire meals are hitting, dude? Good lord! For all we know, they probably got Gordon Ramsay on the goddamn payroll or something, dude. These TikTok checks hit harder than a freight train on max speed, dude. I wouldn't even doubt the fact that they have Gordon Ramsay on the payroll making their meals every night. Nah, but like, no joke, these TikTok dudes are living lavish, man. I looked up the other day how much they get paid per sponsor, and it's usually like 20 grand grand per video. 20 grand, dude? That, that's my rent for three years off of one sponsor. Are you kidding me? Dude, where do I sign up? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be the next best TikTok dancer, dude. Hey guys, it's Poncho here. Today, I'm going to be doing the, uh, the grenade challenge. Whoa. Well, grenade. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. The grenade is probably my favorite TikTok challenge to date or TikTok dance. And nobody will ever convince me otherwise. The grenade is just simply the best one. Wait, let's try and guess who we think it is. I have guesses. I have like 80 guesses. Maya Rudolph. 
I think she would be awesome. Hey man, who cares about Maya Rudolph? Have dinner with me. Invite me. I, I want to eat those those uh five star chef meals. Invite me. Hey man, serious inquiry for the Demilios, all right? I know I'm kind of making a big joke video about you guys right now, but uh, hey dude, if you're ever running low on people to eat dinner with, you can always hit me up anytime, Demilios. You know I don't think I could cook nearly as good as your underpaid captive chef, but maybe I could come close. That's actually pretty funny. Could you imagine the Demilio family just keeping the chef captive in? Their kitchen or something. Mr. Chef, you can't escape the house until you do the grenade. Ooh. Isn't that a good one? Yeah. Saturday Night Live. <laughs> yeah, it's not that person. Come on, who do you it think it could be? Megan the Stallion. Ooh. Ooh. That would be a good one. Mark? That would be a good one. Excuse me, Mark. I know you did not just say that Megan the Stallion would be a good guest. Are you high? It looks like Mark has been smoking some of his own uh, crack supply. Megan the Stallion. I, I I can't get over that. Mark, you are what? Like a 50-year-old man? What are you doing listening to Megan the Stallion? You're not a 16-year-old female TikToker. You're a 50-year-old man. Get, get a hold of yourself, Mark. Imagine actually listening to Megan the Stallion legitimately. Are we Guessing or who we want? Guessing from oh. the context clues that I have. It's someone in their 20s mm -hmm. and they live in California. True. Oh, I didn't know any of that. I was hoping. Well, it's because I, um, I'm i guessing their name starts with a T. Why? I don't know. Yes, Dixie, you truly are one of the smartest individuals I think I have ever met in a lifetime. You're just so enlightening. I, I think by this point, you're opening up your third eye and you're just so insightful. The letter T. I really have no idea why she said that, but we'll, we'll just continue. I'm so nauseous, I'm dizzy. Because you're nervous? Yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't book me for the Dixie D'Amelio show, so I'm here for dinner with the D'Amelio's and Sam. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so James Charles is the guest, I guess. Hey, man, I'm not gonna lie, dude. I feel like I got scammed by giving him wash time, dude. I was expecting somebody like, I don't know, The Rock to come out, dude. But they just brought out James Charles. What the f***? Hey, no disrespect to uh, James Charles, but I kind of find him boring. That's just my personal opinion. It has nothing to do with the fact that he's a makeup YouTuber. I could really care less. I just don't think the guy is all that funny or entertaining, but th that doesn't mean I'm against him or anything. I could care less. I'm just kind of disappointed, man. I was I was really hoping for somebody crazy. This is honestly the best. I hope you. I was nervous. I wasn't gonna know who. It was. Hi. I thought it was gonna be like someone we didn't know. Yeah, we were afraid it would be someone big, like, famous, but mm. we didn't know who they were. Got it. And that yeah. would have been so embarrassing. Good evening, guys. Good evening, gals. My man's Chef Aaron May. What is up, my boy? This guy's walking into the room like he's a million bucks, dude. I mean, do you see the guy's drip, y'all? Oh my goodness. The dude is practically drowning right now. You know in his head he's probably thinking, how, how is this family getting paid millions and millions of dollars to, to make TikToks while I get paid damn near minimum wage in California to make their food? The world may never know. I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah. So we made a beautiful mushroom paella, and then we got like a classic Valencia paella with shrimp. Uh, are, are you okay? My man's chef Aaron May is trying to explain what he professionally cooked for you all. Yet Charlie is treating this as if it's some sort of game or something like that. She's making fun of somebody. She's making a lot of funny faces, but it better not be at her boy chef Aaron May. Cause bro, if I catch anybody making fun of Aaron May, I swear it's on site and I'll have you knocked out on the concrete before you even get a word out. Disrespecting my boy, Aaron May. What is this? <laughs> oh my God. It's a mushroom. No, it's not. Oh it, my it is a snail. <gasps> oh! It's a snail. It's, it's the caracol. It's classic in Paya, and it's actually uh, a, a omen of good luck and fortune. I just touched its liver. Oh my god. Liver? There's a... It's... Ugh. Bro, what? Am I the only one who thinks this is just like super immature? Like I know for a fact that your dad did not pay like two bucks for that chef to make your meal. I'm sure he paid like four figures. Yet you're over here whining like a little baby about how it tastes. Well, not actually how it tastes, how it looks. You haven't even eaten it yet. Eat the damn food. I swear to God, I'd probably be much stricter of a dad uh, than this dude is. Then again, I have no idea, <laughs> you know, who this is as a person. But bro, I would not accept that at the dinner table at all. Making fun of our chef Aaron in May? Come on now. Land, and uh, it brings you good luck and good fortune to eat it. Try it. It tastes like when a big wave hits you. Do it. And you Does it actually bring you good luck? Good luck and good fortune, yes. Liars. <gasps> Just do it. Oh, Dixie, wait. No, you're getting... It's... Mm, 
yummy. See? <laughs> it sometimes happens when... Oh my god, yeah, I was actually joking that first time, but like, bro, don't you think that's a little bit dramatic, Dicky? I mean, the food didn't really seem like it looked that bad, considering I saw the first part of the food actually being cooked, and it looked just fine. Like, you watching right now, does this look good to you? I think it does. I'm sure Dicky's standards are, you know, too high for what good food tastes like, you know? I think she's a little bit, uh, goofy in this situation. Nah, but like, seriously, could you imagine being this ungrateful for <laughs> some good food, man? That could never be me. I mean, shit, dude. Whenever whenever I get a potato chip, uh, I'm thankful as hell. That is all I need. Yet Miss Dicky over here is uh, n not really liking her five-star meal. Oh, God. So dramatic. Don't be so dramatic, yeah. Excuse dude. yourself. Is <laughs> she being real? Or is yeah. she being dramatic? <laughs> oh, she actually threw up. <laughs> Did she? I, I, I can't say I saw any vomit. Let's replay that. <laughs> Is she being real? Or is yeah. she being dramatic? Oh, she actually threw up. Yeah, no, I seriously doubt that she actually threw up. I'm almost positive that she was just trying to be a little bit dramatic due to her family dinner being just about as boring as a four-hour golf match on TV. Regardless, I think Chef Aaron May deserves better. You know, he put his blood, sweat, and tears into that casserole he made you, yet you treated him with disrespect and fake vomited because you didn't like it. I honestly think that Chef Aaron May deserves some sort of prize after all of this. But regardless, boys, that's where I'm gonna wrap up this video. I honestly can't take any more of this. It's kind of uh, boring me to death. I'm sorry. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, dude. It's always appreciated. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, feel free to subscribe, man. I'm not here to force you, but uh, it would be definitely pretty cool having you a part of the club. And with that all being said, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Make sure you guys are staying healthy and make sure you guys are staying hydrated. And yeah, folks, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.